Now, it goes without saying that sanctions on North Korea are going to remain in place for the time being, but the two Koreas will look for opportunities for economic cooperation within the, the framework of those sanctions. This is coming from Seoul's unification minister, who made the remarks during the 2018 Korea Global Forum. But what about other experts that exchange views on the situation right now on the Korean Peninsula? Our Park Hee Joon was there and filed this report. Economic sanctions on North Korea will remain in place until it denuclearizes completely, says Cho myung -kyun, Minister of South Korea's Unification Ministry. The international community wants to keep the sanctions on North Korea until its complete denuclearization and the South Korean government supports that stance. Although concrete actions for economic cooperation are limited under the sanctions, the minister said the inter-Korean discussions will continue and that the two Koreas will push for economic activity within the boundaries of the sanctions, including reopening the Kaesong Industrial Complex. The remarks came during the 2018 Korea Global Forum that was held at the Shilla Hotel in central Seoul on Wednesday. At the forum hosted by the Ministry of Unification and jointly organized by the Institute for Far Eastern Studies of Gyeongnam University and the University of North Korean Studies, experts exchanged views on the Korean situation on the Korean Peninsula. Experts attributed the recent thaw in relations to active summit diplomacy and the unorthodox style of the leaders involved in the talks who know how to leave the past in the past. The reason why this time I think that we have seen a kind of a possible game change of uh, the situation is that uh, uh, we have uh, both a very unconventional leaders of United States and also uh, the uh, very uh, unconventional leaders of North Korea as well as of your uh, president. So I think that they um, are not so be constrained by the so-called trust issue, but rather to have a more broader picture that why we just, uh, you know, think something out of the box. They also say that it's partly due to the North Korean regime's strategy shift to focusing on rebuilding its socialist economy. Kim Jong-un made a strategic decision that he would work on economic development. He would improve the lives of the people. And what's basic to that is normalizing relations with the United States and with the Republic of Korea. And doing that, it will permit North Korea to get the financial, if you will, interaction. There is positivity on the recent developments on the Korean Peninsula, but to keep up this momentum, experts say that countries need to move on from the past. But at the same time, they say that it's important to keep realistic expectations on future dialogue with the North. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.